All right, welcome back to the channel. Now, if you don't know who I am, my name is Ben Neighbors, and this video is for you if you are a coach or a trainer that is looking to go online with your coaching business. And I'm going to quickly just go into this video um, here in a second, but I need to frame out before we dig in who this is for and who this is not for, all right? We're in 2020 right now. I'm sure you get bombarded with ads and, and all this stuff online, buying these products on how to create courses, how to create online coaching programs. There's all this stuff online. Um, I will tell you, personally, I have invested into mentors and, and coaches before. Uh, some of those people have been unbelievably awesome. Um, they've helped me in my journey with what I've done online. Um, I've done a lot online over the past five years, and there's a lot that I can share with, you know, what's worked, what hasn't worked. But what I will tell you is a lot of people out there have bright, shiny object syndrome. Now, if you are one of those people, just don't watch this video because what I'm, what I'm going to be speaking about will not help you. Um, if you are brand new to the entrepreneurship world and you have not yet proven results with clients, click out of this video. Um, if you have not successfully worked with people in person, I would say don't watch this video either, All right? This is for you if you have a proven track record of helping clients in person, you're really good at what you do, you already have clients that you're working with, you already know how to make money, All right? And you have happy clients who have gotten great results with you in the past. So this is for you if you meet those qualifications. Now, here's the thing. I know most of the time when anyone goes to YouTube to learn something, right? Typically, they don't take action if it's for free. So I was hesitant making this video today because... I know how much time this is going to take me to go through everything piece by piece. And I know that what I'm teaching here, you will probably find in some $5,000 info product on how to sell products online, right? And I'm giving it to you for free. And here's my expectation. My expectation is 1% of coaches and trainers who watch this are actually going to take action. And I know if that happens, I've done my job. I know that if a very small percent of you actually follow through with what I'm talking about, you will get results and you'll probably want to work with me on a deeper level after you get results. And what I'm going to show you today will give you a great framework to get started and to also help you set up kind of like a business plan for the future when you think about going online. Now, with that being said, all right, we know who this is for. We know who this is not for. If, if you like saw the beginning of this and you're like, yeah, well, I'm just starting my business. I'm telling you right now, stop watching, right? If you have been in business for a while, you already have great results with clients, you're good at what you do, please keep watching, all right? Now that that's out of the way, let's roll into this. So as you can see, you can see this screen here that I have, all right? The first thing that we need to do is you have to really mentally prepare yourself when you go online because online business and in-person coaching is way different, right? It is way different and you should not treat it differently as, as far as helping clients get results, but it's all going to come down to marketing, sales, copywriting, things that you may not know how to do really well because the online space is very different than the in-person space, right? And there's a reason why there's some people that are at the very, very top and, and there's a reason why most people never get there. It's because they don't learn marketing, sales, and copywriting. These are things that a lot of people just flat out won't learn, right? But I will tell you, you have to really like mentally prepare yourself when you go online and know that it's going to take longer than you think, 
right? That's something no one told me. No one told me that. I had a bunch of mentors at the beginning when I went online. I, I never had a conversation with someone who was like, hey, Ben, this is going to take you longer than you think. You need to be in this for, in the, you know, you need to be in this for the long haul. And I have long-term vision thinking. So like I, I know when I do stuff, I'm not, I don't care about what happens today. I care about what happens in five years from now. But I surrounded myself around people who were doing things at a very high level at the beginning. And it kind of made me feel like I wasn't good enough because I wasn't achieving the same results they were. But I had just started going online, right? So you have to really mentally prepare yourself and know this is a long-term type of thing. No one has ever created a successful online business in like one day, right? No one's done that offline either. And I'm talking about like people who do things for a long period of time. I'm not talking about these like people who run ads and it's a real quick buck thing. Like I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about people who have stuck in, they have long-term vision. They're doing things for long periods of time. They have hundreds or thousands of clients that they've worked with online, right? Those people take years to develop their business, right? And that's what you need to understand here. It takes a long time. Now, let me tap into the most important aspects of making money online. If you are doing coaching, if you're a personal trainer or you are a coach in any sport, you have to understand copywriting. You have to understand video marketing and you need to understand sales, right? So let's talk about copywriting, for example. All right, when I talk about copywriting, I'm talking about the ability to write words that are persuasive, that get the reader to emotionally feel what you are talking about, right? So how have I done this in the past? Well, when I started my journey on understanding copywriting, I was one of the worst people in the world at writing, right? I hated writing. I was terrible at, at writing in school. And I thought, well, that's not something I need to learn or that's not something I'll ever be able to learn, right? And I realized it doesn't matter what your past is. It matters what you learn. And it matters just if you practice copywriting, you can get really, really good, right? And that is going to be email marketing. That's going to be setting up sales pages. When you understand the psychology behind that, you make more sales online because you are putting your message directly in front of the right customer at the right time. And you know what they want to read because you already understand everything about your ideal prospects, right? So copywriting is very key. And I would say one of the most underrated things about online business is an email list. That is the most underrated aspect and that a lot of people don't talk about. Now, I talk about that all the time. If you go back and watch any previous videos, when I talk about building your business, I always talk about having a, an email list. I always talk about frequently emailing your list, giving them value, giving them offers, creating urgency, like doing promotions. These are things that you can do all the time, all right? So copywriting is massive and you have to get good at that. Like that, that's, that's not an option. If you're going to do anything online, you have to learn how to do that. And fortunately for me, like I, I've spent the last eight, 10 years learning about that, right? I have a, a lot of experience. I've sent thousands and thousands and thousands of emails this year in 2020. Uh, I mean, there's, there's going to be thousands of emails that go out that I'm a part of under the brands that I have, right? That's how you generate income online is through email marketing, right? Now, we need to shift to video marketing. That's how you can ultimately build your email list, right? So video marketing, where are you posting your videos? Is it consistent? Do you hate doing videos? Great, you need to learn how to do it, right? If you suck at doing videos like me in the past, well, you need to learn how to do it. You're gonna, you're going to get better by just doing, right? If you go to my other YouTube channel that I have and you saw some of the first couple of videos I posted, you will see I was so nervous, I was timid, um, I wasn't clearly speaking, uh, I was not confident at 
all when I was doing those videos. That's because I never done videos before, right? I can sit here now and shoot a five hour unedited video with 100% confidence now. Why? Because I've done it thousands of times. Like I've uploaded over, over 700 videos now to YouTube. Um, I've, I've created a, at least seven, I, I would say a thousand different videos for products that we've sold, right? And I still feel like I'm just getting started, right? So I have a lot of experience doing that, right? So video marketing is huge, but you have to decide where is your audience? Are they on YouTube? Are they on Facebook? Like, where are they? Who are they? And we need a regular message that's going out to them so we can start to build authority, right? We build authority, right? Then we need to understand sales, right? If you understand copywriting, you understand marketing, and you don't understand sales, then you're not going to be able to effectively sell anything online. So sales and copywriting to me are, are kind of combined. Like we need to understand how is, go is the customer going to buy? What's going to happen after they buy, right? Are you on the phone talking to them or is it all done online? That comes down to what your process is and, and what you're selling. But you have to understand sales at a high level to sell online because you're taking some random person that does not know you and they're going to a website to buy something from you. And if your sales message is off, they are not going to buy. They just flat out, they're not going to buy. If your sales message is on point or they maybe they get on a call with you and you're talking to them over the phone, if you understand what you're selling, you're very clear with your offer, odds are you're going to be able to sell more of your product or more of your service, right? And I have a great book here. This is going to help you with becoming better at copywriting. Uh, the author is Dan Kennedy, and the book here, it's called The Ultimate Sales Letter, All right? I don't have an Amazon affiliate link that you can go buy it at, All right? Just go to Amazon or go to your library. I don't know if they'll have a library. Go get that book. If you are completely new or if you are like, have already busted your chops with copywriting, you will learn a lot with that book. That book has helped me a ton, all right? Go get that book, all right? That will help you. Now, we need to kind of just, we're going down this list here and we need to think about the two different mindsets that coaches and trainers have when they go online, right? The typical mindset is, well, I want to do this so I can make more money and I don't have to work anymore. And then what normally happens is that type of person sees an ad on Facebook or an ad on Instagram. And it's this guru talking about how they're going to be able to make $10,000 a month in the next 30 days. And typically people who think, oh, I want to get rich quick, they will never follow through with whatever the product is. Whether that product is awesome or garbage, the normal person won't follow through with it, right? Now, here's the thing. I will just, I will say this for a fact. <laughs> if you don't think long-term, you are absolutely going to fail online. It is impossible to succeed online unless you think long-term. And I'll give you a great example. I have almost 400 videos on this channel, right? We have around 3,000 subscribers to this channel. I've never cared about growing a huge subscriber base, right? I care about putting out quality content, right? And I made the commitment, I'm going to do this for as long as I need to so I can help more coaches. That's proven to work really well. We've been able to help hundreds of coaches over the last four and a half years, right? We've grown our mastermind. We sell digital products. Like I've been doing this for a very, very long time just with this channel. I had another channel too that I was doing that I'm still uh, doing, right? So I think long-term, that's why it's worked for me. The average person 
if I said, hey, you're gonna go shoot 400 videos and you'll probably have 3,000 subscribers, they would not do that. They would think they would think that's crazy, right? And again, this is not going to be about how many subscribers, how many likes, how many views you get. An online business has nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with getting the right message in front of the right people at the right time. And are you consistent? Are you dominant? Are you building authority? Yes or no, All right? So if you think, oh, I wanna make a quick buck, I promise you, you are going to get screwed. And you'll get run over by someone who's like me, All right? And there are a lot of people who are like me who just stick with it and they learn and they adjust and they pivot when they need to, but they keep going. There are people like me who are probably doing the same thing you're looking to do. They've just done it longer. They have a lot of experience and you have to be like them. You have to model that part of them. And I would say if you're gonna duplicate what I do, right, and you're gonna try to go online, the thing I'd want you to duplicate is my mindset because it works, right? It doesn't, I don't care if you suck at doing videos. I don't care if you suck at uh, copywriting. I don't care if you suck at sales. You can get better at that. And thinking long-term, like that's the option that's going to help you succeed, all right? Then a lot of people ask, well, Ben, you know, I want to do this online. I just don't know how to set up everything online. Now, I'm going to make a, a probably a one-hour video in the future for coaches that need help with how to set it up online. Like, what's the right service? What's the right software? And I'll tell you if you just go in the link um, in the bio, sorry, link in the description, you'll see the same system I use, all right? It's called Kajabi. You can go get a 28-day free trial, right? Every single coach that I have recommended to use that loves it. That's where you store all of your private membership uh, information. So when your clients buy, they go there and they consume the content. That's where you can create a community there to where your clients can be talking back and forth with you. Uh, that's where you have all your marketing, your, all your landing pages. Everything I do with my business is run through Kajabi. And if you're not willing to invest into something like that, then what's going to happen is you're going to get something that's cheaper that's going to end up costing you more time and more money long term because you're going to have to get someone else to help you. Kajabi allows you to have full control of what you do online. It's very simple. And when you go through that 28-day trial that I give you, uh, the CEO of that company will walk you through how to, how to set up your first product on there and how to make $1,000 in the first month. I've gone through his course that he has. It's very solid gonna work if you like sit down and do the work all right that will help you that is a great asset for you to go through um, and I'll tell you I've been using that for the last five years um, I don't promote anything unless I personally use it I get hit up by by people via email hey Ben can you talk about this on your YouTube channel no I have no idea what you're talking about nope so I only talk about things that I believe in that I invest my own money into all right I've been investing into them for, for to Kajabi for a while. So go get the free trial. Use the link I have under the uh, description. That will support our channel here. Um, and that's going to put you on the right path when you think about going online. And it's a great investment. I don't need to try to sell it anymore. I use it. My top clients who are doing over six figures per year in sales, <laughs> right? They are all using it too. So like there's a reason why they're using it because it's easy. All right. Now we're going to be talking about the next thing here. This is very important. Uh, there's the, the whole dilemma of, you know, should I pay for mentoring or should I just try to figure this out on my own? All right. That all depends on how you think. All right. Are you going to try to reinvent the wheel and struggle or are you going to try to get someone's help who's been there and done that? All right. So, for example, when I started, the first thing I did was I found someone who was really, really, really good at what they do online. And I paid them and I learned and I executed. Like I would not be on these videos. I would not be doing anything online unless I made that initial investment. Now, could I have done it without getting help? 
yeah, but it would have taken me t probably five times as, as, as the amount of time as it did by investing money. So I value my time. I don't want to try to struggle fig figuring things out. I want to time collapse what I do so I can move faster. If I can move faster, then I can get more clients online, all right? So I'd rather pay and invest, all right, than take 15 years to figure it out. Right? That's my mindset. And I know there's a lot of gurus, there's a lot of mentors online now that teach how to start a course for course creators. <clears throat> and that's cool. I got nothing against those guys. Um, what I will say though is a lot of them sell a digital product, right? And they're not giving hands on help. Like if you have an, an actual question, you're probably not going to get an answer from them. It's one of the reasons why. Like, I love how our mastermind is set up right now because coaches who have questions with, uh, with what's going on within their business, they're always going to get my direct help, right? That's where I can give hands-on coaching daily to coaches that we help <clears throat> in our program, right? And there's going to be a difference between getting mentored and going through a course, right? So that's something you have to be very weary of when, when you try to invest into someone. Are you actually getting their help? Or are you just watching videos that they've done, right? Big difference, big difference. Are you getting on group coaching calls with them? Yes or no? Like, is it the actual creator of the course or is it some customer support guy? Like, big difference there. That's why I go over and beyond with all this stuff that I do with coaches to where like, they're gonna get me. They're, they're not getting some, some robot that's responding to them, right? That's gonna come from me, all right? So, should you get mentored? Yes. If, if you need help with what you're doing and you know someone has already achieved something that you want to do, why would you not reach out to them? Why would you not invest in, into their program? Like I invest, I've, I've invested a lot, right? Over the last couple of years. Um, I just made a big investment recently. That investment has already paid off, right? Smart. That's, that's what smart people do. They know they don't know everything. They ask for help. And the way I ask for help is I put skin in the game. I don't, I don't just talk about it. I don't just go to YouTube and find free information. I put skin in the game because I want to learn from those who've done the thing that I want to do, period. All right, next, we need to understand what your business goal is, right? So let's say you're just getting started online, right? A great goal that you can have is let's get one sale. It's not, let's make $100,000 this year. It's let's get one sale. When you get the first sale online and you have never done that before, the feeling that you have when you do that, that is priceless because now you know you can do it again. And I'll never forget, the first time I made my first $47 sale online, this was like five, six years ago. And when it happened, the first thing that went through my mind was like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe someone just bought this. <laughs> and two minutes later, someone else got it. Like that first night, the first 24 hours of, of when I launched my first product, I did like around $2,400, Like I had the self-belief at that point, dude, this is working. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep going with this and I'm going to figure it out. And then that led me to getting help. That led me to figuring out more things, joining masterminds, stuff like that. And I'll tell you, your first business goal should be, let's make one sale, period. After that, it should be, all right, let's try to get to $1,000, all right? And then it should be from there, whatever, whatever your business goal is after that, all right? But let's first not have this massive seven figure or eight figure goal that that's that's not reasonable when you start something let's get one person to buy it all right well how are you going to do that well you need to create the the program we need to solve problems otherwise people are going to not be buying the thing that you are solving all right they're not going to be buying the problem you're solving if they don't need it right so we need to create a clear business goal. And then after you get started, we need to know what the numbers are, right? And there's two 
different ways of running an online business. And I will tell you, I am doing both right now and I can tell you which one is drastically easier, right? The first way of doing it is having an affordable product. So when I say that, it's a ebook, like $27, it could be a digital product that's $50, a digital product that's like around 100. Uh, some people sell digital products that are like 197 or 297 or 497. Now, I label those as affordable products. They're lower end. Now, if you are selling a 497 product and you're making three or four sales per day, yeah, that, that's great. Obviously, you're doing online full time if you're doing those sort of numbers, right? If you're doing like a $47 product and you're making just a couple of sales per month, well, maybe we need to rethink your strategy because you're not going to be able to do it full time unless you have a high volume of sales at a lower ticket offer, right? So I have these two examples here. There's the affordable products or you have high, higher end uh, coaching and I call it group coaching, right? And the way that works is you are step-by-step step helping clients in a group setting. And that can be done where you have an online course, you have a, a way of helping clients in a group setting, and you are getting on calls with your clients. You're addressing questions. You are there helping them throughout the year, right? And I will tell you, it, and, and you might not believe me, because if you're not doing it, you wouldn't, right? But selling something for $1,500 and selling something for $20 or, or $50 it takes the same amount of time. And it's equally as easy and it's equally as difficult selling a $1,500 product as a $50 product, right? And I will tell you, when clients have more skin in the game, they are typically going to get better results. This is why I and, I, and I look at some of the coaches I'm helping right now, those who've done really well when they've gone online, they're the ones who sell a higher ticket type of offer, right? They're like, I have many coaches I'm helping right now that are selling 1500 to like $3,000 uh, programs to clients. They've done very, very well, right? That's different than selling like a $27 ebook, right? So this is why, you know, this leads me to my example here. If you have a $50 product, you need to sell 20 units of that per month to make $1,000. Can you do that? Absolutely. Like, do you have 200 to 500? Actually, I, would, no, I wouldn't even say 200. I'd say, do you have 500 to 1,000 people who have eyeballs on that product per month? If you don't, you're not gonna sell 20 per month consistently. So you need to have traffic to, to see that all the time to sell even 20, 20 $50 products because that's like almost one every day, right? So you need to have a lot of people looking at that, right? Or you could sell one $1,000 program, right? In my opinion, selling one program at $1,000 is way easier, way, way, way easier than selling 20 $50 products. Right, and now with the one thousand dollar product, they're not only are they getting a better product, they're getting more of your help. So that means they can solve whatever the problem is that you are helping them solve way easier, because you're keeping them more accountable. So people will pay more when they get more hands-on help. Right, that's facts. So you can look at that and you can re reverse engineer it and say, well, if I'm going to do a hundred thousand dollars in sales online, how many products at $50 would I need to sell per year? Then you can do the math and you'll realize that is, that can be very difficult if you don't have a reliable way of getting traffic. And that's the thing. We talked about that at the beginning. Video marketing, copywriting, and sales are so important. If you're not thinking about those things, if you're not doing those things, you're not going to be able to sell 20 $50 products. You're not going to be able to sell a thousand dollar product either. All right. Now I have a gift for you. If you have watched this whole video, all right, 
I have this set up very simple, right? I'm going to give you a gift. I'm going to tell you what it is. All I need you to do is go below this video, get the free trial of Kajabi, right? When you activate your free trial, all you have to do is message me, right? Here's how you're going to message me. It's very simple. So you're going to message me via email. And my email is buildmysportsbiz at gmail.com. And all you're going to do is you're going to send me a screenshot that you have started Kajabi. You have started your account. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to help you personally with an email that's going to help you generate sales. This email that I'm talking about has already, like, I, I look at the last six weeks. That email has, has produced over $250,000 worth of sales, right, for coaches that we are helping, whether that be in person or online coaching, right? So the email I send you works very well, but I'm not going to just give that to you until you show me that you're serious and you go get Kajabi. Because I know if you get Kajabi, now you have skin in the game. Now you're going to take it more serious and I'm going to want to help you when you take that step. And the way I will do that is I'll get on a free coaching call with you, right? I'm not going to charge you. I'm not going to sell you anything. I'm just going to get on the call and I'll, we'll get on zoom and I'll show you, here's the email. Here's how it works. Use it, deploy it. Here's what to do after the email, right? Very simple. That's going to be something where I will help you one-on-one -on -one once you get Kajabi. All right, that's it. So go grab Kajabi in the link below. Once you get that, I'll give you the gift. And I will, it's not gonna be like where, where I'm gonna say, all right, I'm gonna talk to you in two months from now. I will do it the week you get it. Um, the week you get it, I'll hop on a call with you. And remember what we've covered in this video, this is coming from someone who has a lot of experience, right? a lot of experience. I have gone through every up and down you could imagine online, right? I've done a bunch of launches. I've done, I've modeled from other people that you've probably seen online. Like, and what I've realized with this whole journey is everything constantly evolves. And if you are not evolving with what's going on, you're dead, right? You're dead. And if you are selling like lower end products and you don't have a high volume of people looking at those things, you can't run a, a sustainable business, right? And if we are solving a huge, massive problem for a very particular type of client, right? You are in business and you can be very successful doing that online. And, um, this is, this is great. If you are a coach that is like tapped out with time and you, you know, you want to have an alternative revenue stream, um, and you're great at what you do. You're great at producing results, right? So all you have to do at this point, go grab Kajabi in the link below, test it out. All right. You get a free trial. You have nothing to lose. Um, you'll see how awesome it is once you, once you get it set up and then once you get it, we'll get it. We'll set up a free call together. Um, typically when I work with coaches one-on-one, -on -one, I mean, I'll, I'll just say this on here. Like I charge $750 per hour. If someone wants one hour of my time, they're going to pay me 750 bucks. So the gift I'm giving you is a free $750 call plus a template that you can use with your email. Um, and that will get you clients like period. It will get you clients if you execute the way I talk about. So that's it. Use what I'm talking about. And, uh, I look forward to chatting with you about setting up that email together. Um, that's going to really help you out. So I'll see you later. Thanks for watching um, and I'll talk to you soon.